Whether it's mom or auntie, your family friend or your best friend's mom, we've all had some influential woman who's helped raise, shape, or guide us. Someone we call mom. This Mother's Day, we've put together some of our picks for movies we'd love to share with them on their special day. I won't be with my mom this Mother's Day, but if I was, we'd definitely be watching Love Jones. And you and I should uh, get together sometime and have a drink. I don't think that'll be a very good idea. Being originally from Chicago, I'd love all the beautiful shots of the city and the nod to the spoken word scene of the 90s. And when Darius and Nina finally get it together at the end, we cry every time. I know all the guys that you'd hire to come after me. They like me better than you. I know what you're thinking. I get it. But it's not all about the George Clooney and Brad Pitt of it all. These are really fun, good movies. And considering that I am such a ridiculous nerd and my mom has to spend a lot of time watching Star Wars and Marvel movies, these are some of the only ones that the two of us can really enjoy together. Growing up, I always annoyed my mom with how much I loved basketball and how much I loved to write. Question concerning your most recent work isn't whether it's good. Punch the keys! It's whether it's too good. Yes! This movie is a reminder that no matter where my mom is, she has always given me the encouragement and confidence to pursue what I want. It used to be basketball, now it's writing. My mama was obsessed with Waiting to Exhale when it came out back in 1995. Now, I was too young to watch the movie with her, but she constantly played the soundtrack. One man I love is Mary and got a kid. It brought her so much joy. She saw so much of herself in these songs, from Whitney Houston to Mary J. Blige, and it just really made my mom proud to be a black woman. My mother just would always randomly not remember certain things about the about the movie and say it was too complicated, which was like funny. And we would always tease her. Get mixed up in the family business. You gotta get up close like this. Bada bing, you blow their brains all over your nice cyber league suit. Like she'd get about halfway through the movie and then say, hey, where did Fredo come from? We're like, well, there was always three sons. Fredo was always there and you had to laugh at it. She was able to laugh at herself. Uh, if we got a chance to sit and just like have a movie night, we would definitely be watching The Godfather. 